Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, my name is Lauren, and today we're doing an eyeshadow palette collection declutter video. I did one of these around this time last year, and it did pretty well, and I've acquired some new palettes since then, and I know I have some that I can get rid of, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Here is a new one that I got for Christmas. I got it in the Glenlight Foodie box. This is the Frosted Flakes palette. This is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if you can really see that sparkle but that is so gorgeous. I also have makeup wipes on standby for swatches. Oh my gosh, definitely a keep. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and start with some older palettes. Um, here is the Morphe and James Charles palette. This used to be a staple in my collection. This was actually my first rainbow palette. Um, I don't reach for this anymore. I have other rainbow palettes that I prefer over this one and I just do not reach for this anymore. So we are actually gonna declutter this. Next, another Morphe palette, the Icy Fantasy. I love this palette. Um, the colors are a little bit chalky and whatnot, but like these shimmers are just the most beautiful shimmers. They are so sparkly, so glittery, and I love glittery glittery shimmers so definitely keeping that next the morphe 3503 this palette is absolutely beautiful as you can see um these shades have not been touched much at all and i've had this for a long time so we're gonna declutter this i think this is my last morphe palette the jaclyn hill volume 2 this one hasn't been touched much either but i really love these shades so i'm gonna keep this one and maybe with getting rid of more, I will reach into these more. And I thought about doing a challenge pretty soon on my TikTok, maybe on YouTube too, about using every single palette in my collection. So I want to get rid of the ones I don't want first before doing that. Next, let's get into the ABH collection. This is Norvina. Which one is this? Volume 3. I have 1, 2, and 3. Here she is. Absolutely beautiful keeping her. I'm pretty sure this one is volume two, keeping it as well. And volume one, we just worked our way up <laughs> from backwards, but absolutely beautiful. Let's do a swatch. Gorgeous. Yep. Keeping. Juvia's Place Culture Palette. This has some absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous shades. Sorry, I accidentally bought my phone, but ugh. Look at that. I just can't. This is gorgeous. Another Juvia's Place, the Deuce palette. Um, this one is really pretty. I don't reach for these shades though. Uh, you know, I really thought I was gonna keep this, but now, you know, I think I'm gonna declutter it. I don't use it. And I have shades similar to those in other palettes that I will use more. So decluttering that. The Tribe by Juvia's Place. This one has really gorgeous shades too. And again, I don't reach for it. Whenever I used to use this, I could never get the shades to really work for me for some reason. Uh, I might try again with this one. I think I'm going to try again with this one. Violet Voss Flamingo Palette. I used to absolutely love this palette whenever I first got it, which was a long time ago. But I just don't reach for these shades anymore, so I'm going to get rid of this one. Uh, here's an oldie. Naked palette by Urban Decay. This was my very first high-end palette. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to get rid of this. We are keeping that. Let's see. Dominique Cosmetics Celestial Thunder. Ooh, yeah. We're going to keep this, mainly for this shade right here. Do I ever reach for this? No, but I might. I can't help but like think like, yeah, maybe one day I'll reach for it. Ciate, the editor palette, New England. This has a nice shade range and these are fairly pretty. I really like this dark green. Okay, we're gonna keep this one. There's another Ciate, the velvet palette. If I can get this open. This palette is super, super pretty, but I don't, I don't ever reach for it. And the only time I ever like think about keeping this palette is because of this shade, which I have stuff similar to. I'm going to get rid of this. 
Thank you, Rose Exotic Peacock. I don't know that I've ever used this, but I love the colors in it and I definitely want to give it a try. And I want to work on trying more of my palettes and doing more with them. So I'm going to keep this. KVD Beauty uh, Moon Garden Vegan Eyeshadow Palette. I think I got this in a TJ Maxx. Look at that green shade and that blue shade. Oh my goodness. I don't ever reach for this, but I'm going to keep it. Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde. This is one of my favorite palettes still in my collection. It was last year and it still is this year. The colors are just so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Keeping. Huda Beauty New Nude. I don't reach for this as much as I used to, but it still is a nice staple eyeshadow palette for my collection, so I'm going to keep this. Huda Beauty Empowered Palette. This one recently was added to my collection. I think my mom got it in a BoxyCharm, and she doesn't ever use her eyeshadow palettes, so I have this now, and it is so pretty. I'm not a huge fan of really yellowy golds. Oh, that's more of like a glitter feeling than a shimmer feeling, but uh, I'll use it though. I think it's really pretty. Beauty, <laughs> Beauty Bakery, the Chosen Bun. Um, this is a really nice neutral palette, so I think I'm going to keep it for that, even though I don't use it very much, but we're going to try. Lunar Beauty Nude Prism Palette. The packaging on this is so pretty, and these shades are gorgeous. Um, I'm going to be honest, I don't use them though. They're so pretty and they feel great. I really thought I was going to keep this, but now that I'm looking at it and going over it, I think I'm going to get rid of it. ColourPop Fade into Hue Palette. Absolutely gorgeous. If I'm ever going to reach into a rainbow palette, this is the one I'm reaching into. I love ColourPop. ColourPop Making Mauves. I'm keeping this one. I don't use these colors a whole bunch, but if I'm using mauve colors, I'm definitely reaching into this. Here's some more ColourPop. Let me just go ahead and get all my ColourPop. Okay, here's all my ColourPop palettes. We'll go through these kind of fast. Blush Crush, Keeping. I use this all the time still. In a Trance, I love this. Um, a couple of the shades are missing, but I still love it. I love the colors in this. All That palette, very beautiful, deep colors. A flutter palette I don't use this a whole lot but it's super pretty so yeah I'm keeping it wild child gorgeous browns California love again some more gorgeous browns it's been a while since I've used this though and I really wanted to dip into it now that I've looked at it again sonic bloom this packaging is gorgeous I don't ever reach into this though uh, I'm gonna try to I like you a lot. Um, I didn't realize it looked this bad on the inside. Uh, and I used to absolutely love this palette. But I do have like these purpley shades in other palettes. So I think it's time for this one to just be thrown away. Unfortunately. Aura and Out. Oh no. Sometimes I have trouble with like these shades falling out. But this is gorgeous. We're going to swatch that. Okay, yeah keeping this. Uh-huh, honey, even though the words have been wiped off. I don't, I don't ever use this palette either, but if I need a good yellow, I'm dipping into this. Miss Bliss. Gorgeous peaches and pinks. Blue moon. I keep accidentally bumping my phone. And this shade is all broken, but still usable and I love it. Yes, please. This was my first ColourPop palette. And honestly, I think this is expired. Um, a lot of the shades are like kind of bumpy and don't feel great. So I think it's time for me to pass this on finally. Well, I'll throw it away really. So fly, gorgeous colors. This one is a really pretty like green peachy shift. Keeping that. Nude Mood, Perfect Neutrals, that's Taupe, some also really good cool neutrals, All Amethyst, absolutely stunning, 
in truly iconic um fun fact i bought this in a target when my husband and i went on vacation and i forgot literally all of my eyeshadow palettes so i had bought this and i don't really use it uh so i'm gonna get rid of it all right let's do some more abh the carly bible palette uh, a lot of people didn't like this when it came out and i really don't understand why because i still love it I know the packaging is a little bit weird and that's why people don't like it, but I don't know. I love the colors in this, so definitely keeping this. The OG Modern Renaissance. Wow. Mine is definitely falling apart. Um, I have another one that's new that my mom had gotten, but keeping this. Jackie Ina palette. Still love this one, so keeping. Here are some Cara Beauty palettes. Summer Stunna. This is really pretty. It's got some really pretty colors. We're going to keep that. This one I'm kind of on the fence about. I don't reach into it. I love these peachy colors. But how often do I wear peachy colored makeup? Never. So if I'm being honest with myself, I should probably get rid of this. So, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Um... I'm not going to miss it if I get rid of it, if I'm being honest. So, I'm going to get rid of it. Beach Bum. I don't reach into this either, but these greens are so pretty. And <laughs> I don't know. I'm having a tough time now with what I want. See how pretty that is? And I didn't keep the Deuce palette, which had a similar green. So, I might keep this smaller palette. Maybe. Maybe. Um, I don't use it though. I probably have greens elsewhere that I like better. I don't know. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. On to some Glam Light, the Barbie palette. This is gorgeous. I love this so much. These shades are so pretty. I got this in a TJ Maxx and I just, I love it. And I got it for pretty cheap. Definitely keeping. The Pie palette super super pretty i really love this peach shade it's so pretty yeah keeping this and we have the burger and the slider palette here is the slider super pretty shades and the burger palette again really really pretty so keeping both of those here is the Berlin Underground Palette by Nomad Cosmetics. It's really pretty, but this is the only matte shade, and I don't really reach into a lot of shades like these, so I'm going to pass this one on. Okay, here's some Natasha Denona. I honestly forgot that I had this, and I love that yellow shade, so I'm going to keep this. Then we have this mini one, which I'm going to keep, which I'm going to keep all of these Natasha Denona ones. This one, that has been really pretty for spring. And then this Zendo palette. Keeping all of those. Oh, here's another Glam Light palette. The Hershey Milk Chocolate. Super pretty. I use this a lot, actually. And another Natasha Zona palette. Uh, keeping this, this is some good neutrals. Dominique uh, Unconditional palette. This is really pretty, but I... I haven't used this, so we're going to get rid of it. Too Faced Razzle Dazzle Berry. This honestly still smells delicious. Um, Yeah, so I'm going to keep this. We have a little Tarte palette. This is the Glamazon To Go. Really pretty, just neutral travel palette. Desert Sunset Palette by Ather Beauty? I don't know. I don't know how you're supposed to say that. Um, really pretty. I don't know how much use I'll get out of this, but I'm going to try to use it a little bit because I really like this gold and this peachy shade. So I'm going to see how much I use it. Ace Beauté Nostalgia Palette. This one is actually really pretty. It's got some really pretty bright colors in here. So I can't wait to actually play with this because this is a recent one that I got. This was a thing with BoxyCharm. Um, 
I used to want to use this a lot. I don't anymore. It's got some really pretty colors in here, but I just, I don't use it. I'm going to get rid of it. Oh, this palette had fallen. ColourPop Whatever palette. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize that shade was like gone, but I love this palette, so I'm going to keep it. That shade actually fell into my lap and it's all broken. So now I have that color all over my pants. Sugar Pill Fun Size Palette. Really pretty pastels in here. And these are such good quality. All right, we got four palettes left. This one is new to my collection. Pat McGrath um, Celestial Nirvana. This one is super, super pretty. Love those glittery shades. Dose of Colors Sassy Siennas. I don't use this a lot, but I really love these matte shades. They're really great and really great quality, so I'm going to keep this. Illa Mask Unveiled Artistry Palette. This is some really great neutrals, but I don't reach into palettes like this usually, so I'm going to get rid of this. And then lastly, the NYX Ultimate Utopia. I really love the shades in here and I don't reach into it as much as I would like to, but hopefully with a good bit of these palettes being gone, I can organize these a little bit better and just overall get more use out of my palette. So now I'm gonna count up how many I got rid of. All right, so I don't know how many I kept, but I'm getting rid of 14, which is a crazy amount for me. I did not think I would get rid of that many eyeshadow palettes for sure, but that's definitely going to free up a lot of room in my little cart that I keep my palettes in. So hopefully I'll be able to get more use out of what I do have now and maybe not buy too much, which I really haven't been buying too much. What I've gotten new has been from my mom or from Christmas. I haven't really bought anything new, just all my own buying things. So I've done really good on that. So yeah, we did pretty dang good on this. Um, I might post some of those on my Mercari. If I do, I will post my Mercari in the description. But yeah, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I can't wait to see my next one. Bye.